Good Tuesday morning, everybody. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onig with a complete look at your forecast into the next couple of days. And we are going to continue to again see the possibility of some nicer weather, not as warm as it could be across the Mid-South as we head into the later portions of October. We're also going to be again seeing the possibility of some maybe some area showers coming back again toward about Friday night football. Not exactly great news for outdoor activities there. And into parts of the weekend, you may need some rain protection as well. We'll talk about that coming up here in just a little bit. In the meantime, for Tuesday, cool and a little bit on the drizzly side out there. If you've gotten some rain across the area this morning, drop your location and whatever weather reports you've got into the comments section. We'd love to see where you're checking in from in the Mid-South or out of the Mid-South area. Please just let us know where you're from and what's going on with the weather in your location. We'll read those off as we go throughout the rest of the netcast for this morning. If you've never been here before, this is our online video weather blog. If you can't stick around for the whole forecast, red bar at the bottom of your screen, scrolling by there, or you can go to this website, wrhe.com slash weather for more information. So again, let us know a little bit more about what's going on in your location. Plus, if you've got weather pictures out there, we'd love to see a little bit more about what it looks like in your area. We'll show you where to show that coming up here in just a little bit. You can tweet them to me or post them on my Facebook page, or you can email them to me at austin.onic at wreg.com. Rest of the day, again, going to be showing some pretty quiet conditions. Let's get started with the early morning to early afternoon forecast chances of rain will be sticking around. We're kind of getting a lull in the activity right now, but we may see again more showers as we go throughout the rest of the morning. So looking at some fairly cool temperatures out there, keep in mind that at this time of the year we should be in the lower to mid 70s. We're going to wind up today back in the lower to mid 50s. So definitely jacket weather feeling a lot more like October should out across the mid-south and not much warmer than that throughout the rest of the day. Next 24 hours again the peak of temperatures will be back in the lower 50s later on this afternoon and as we head into tomorrow morning temperatures for the metro at least dropping into around the upper 40s to lower 50s so not much warmer than that the next 24 hours cloud cover some leftover sprinkles around old miss not too many people out at the track and field facility for this morning. Rhodes College in central Memphis from the Weather Underground Network cameras showing again a lot of overcast skies in this location, but not too much rain on the camera lens. Live cam from I-55 and Goodman Road in South Haven. Peak of rush hour, traffic heavy, but moving along pretty well. Corey will have more updates on your traffic coming up here in just a little bit, so stay tuned for more on that. And so far, things moving along pretty well. Michelle Mech Howell, loving the lower temperatures. Glad to hear it. We've got more of that coming up in the next few weeks as well. And thanks for joining us. Rest of the area, again, if you've got weather reports out there, drop them into the comments section. We'll read them off as we go along. Traffic around 240 in Poplar for this morning. Again, on the heavy side through that construction zone for the Memfix 4 project happening. And again, showing traffic moving along pretty well in all directions. Some fender benders out there this morning. Again, Corey has more on our Twitter feed and also coming up on News Channel 3 a little bit later. Currently in the Mid-South, again, the Metro seeing some light showers drifting on through as we go past the 8 o'clock hour. But beyond that, we're not looking at too much out there in the way of showers or even any thunderstorms from what we saw yesterday across much of the area. Temperatures again right now keeping everything in liquid form, no frozen precipitation, not quite the, the case back to our northwest with a lot of different types of snowfall and sleet back into Kansas and Missouri out there. Good morning to everybody checking in. Again, if you've got any weather reports, drop those into the comments section. Let's put that uh, thermometer outside the kitchen window to some good use for this morning. Heaviest showers in the Mid-South, again, mainly over portions of northeast Mississippi, heading across the Tennessee River on Storm Tracker 3S radar. And looking back to the southwest, we've got even more showers developing and heading up this direction. So even though the rain has kind of dwindled here, we're going to be looking for more chances of showers coming up from the south and to the west. And we've got a lot more on tap. Not heavy, not severe, not flash flooding, but again, 
noticeable amounts of rainfall left over down this direction heading up from the Gulf of Mexico. So we're kind of on the leading edge of this right now. So expecting more of those chances of showers coming up throughout the rest of the day. Jeff Frog Wheeler, average date for the first good frost uh, in the Mid-South area. According to National Weather Service climate data, the average first date of the first frost is November 11th. It's roughly about Veterans Day. Now, it can happen earlier, it can happen a lot later, but that's the median average right there for when we usually get the first frost out there. Good question. Thank you very much for that. Kevin Potts, raining between Oxford and Batesville, Mississippi. Thank you very much for that one. Welcome to everybody else checking in uh, so far this morning. Lori Tucker from Chick-fil-A Collierville. Too cold to do face-to-face -face today. Sorry to hear that. Hope the coffee's hot in that area. Uh, how's the weather for Crenshaw, Mississippi? Santana Thompson, stick around. We'll talk more about that coming up in just a bit. Chilly this morning. Temperatures back in the lower 40s. Combine that with winds occasionally gusting over 10 miles per hour, and you've got wind chills dropping into the lower to mid 30s. Again, that's brief, but it is possible. So taking the kids to school, definitely want to make certain everybody's bundled up for this morning because of that chill out there and not going to be getting much better into the rest of the day. Now through this morning, again, the heaviest rainfall in northern Mississippi toward lunchtime. And as we go into the rest of the day, those showers kind of overspread the entire area. So even though you may not have rain right now, north of I-40, Dyersburg, back into Covington, over toward around Jonesboro, Harrisburg, Blytheville. It's a good possibility you're going to be seeing more of that rain we talked about spreading over the area throughout the rest of the day and into this evening as well. So Crenshaw, Mississippi, the rest of the Mid-South, looking at more of those showers into the area as well. Angela Tony, cold in Oklahoma. I saw the Oklahoma Mesonet the other day showing the 80s in front of that front and the 30s behind that front. So that was a pretty uh, big drop in temperatures you had out back towards Sooner Territory out there. Nicole Morganfield, how long is it going to rain? We'll take a look at the uh, seven-day forecast in just a moment. Santana Thompson, glad you like the tie. My mom made this for me. She makes most of my neckties as well. She's a quilter, trying to pick that up from her, but not quite great on sewing right there. FedEx and Olive Branch, cold. Tanya Brown Stevenson. Thank you very much for that one. Through the rest of the day, again, chances of showers will be sticking around. So a cool, drizzly, somewhat breezy day across the area. Samantha Northcutt Carrero, Cleveland, Mississippi. Cold, wet, and windy. Thank you very much for that one. And uh, see Felicia, Felisa Williams. Loving the weather. Tunica, Mississippi is cool. Thank you very much for that. Rest of the evening through tonight. And into tomorrow, we'll generally see the rainfall stick around, but then leave the Mid-South as we go past around midnight tonight. Tomorrow morning, the rainfall chances can find well to our south, and that should do it for a while where it comes to rainfall. So today's temperatures, again, well below normal for much of the Mid-South. Scattered showers out there. And going to see, again, the possibility of a shower just past midnight into tomorrow morning. Otherwise, looking at partly cloudy skies, for the Mid-South and temperatures tomorrow heading back into the mid-60s, closer to normal, but still below normal for this time of the year. A little cooler on Thursday, bit of a burst of cool air coming on through. Partly cloudy, should remain dry though, so outdoor activities late Wednesday, most of Thursday should be okay. On Friday though, we look for the chances of rain to return, mainly in the afternoon and evening, and that could be a problem for Friday night football across much of the Mid-South out there. As we go into the rest of the forecast, not changing all that much. We've got, again, some very mild conditions across much of the area and going to continue to see that sticking around for a while. Again, we should be descending through about the lower to mid-70s at this time of the year, but we will see, again, the possibility of some very stable temperatures unless something changes with a new powerful storm system coming through or maybe something coming up from the Gulf of Mexico in the form of tropical weather, which is not being seen here. Little, if anything, is going to be changing anytime soon. So you've got a pretty stable forecast and past the chances of showers on Saturday. Probably not going to be seeing too much of anything in the way of major amounts of rainfall as we go throughout the rest of the next several days. So decently quiet out across the area, so just some definite good news there. Into the tropics, nothing going on in the Atlantic. Much of the Atlantic very quiet. Again, maybe a disturbance or two out there later on. The only thing going on for right now is an area of low pressure just to the east of the Yucatan Peninsula and moving its way, drifting slowly back to the west. Now, National Hurricane Center giving this 
an updated chance of development up to 40%. It looks like it may become a tropical depression later on today before it washes its way over Central America. And once that happens, it'll probably lose cohesion and a lot of power. If it's deemed necessary from the National Hurricane Center, we might see a Hurricane Hunter plane dispatched here later on to study it, but right now it doesn't look too likely. We'll bring you updates on this. And again, heading to the west, so this doesn't look like it's going to curve up into the Gulf of Mexico anytime soon, so pretty quiet across much of the area. Thanking Arkansas SEC 73. Federal officer down in Mexico Beach, Florida, sent us a series of pictures yesterday from that area with, again, some massive amounts of damage. If you're in town from that area, probably not a good idea to try heading back just yet because, again, basic services in much of that part of the panhandle have yet to be restored. So may not be the best idea to go back just yet, especially with stuff like this covering most uh, and some of the roadways out there. So something to think about if you're going to be heading out into that direction. Also thanking J.P. Rockin for a nice view of his very full rain gauge yesterday picking up overnight rainfall to the tune of about five inches. Parts of northeast Arkansas, north of I-40, close to the Mississippi River, picked up even more than that. And this was from Drummond's Tennessee. So thank you very much for that one. If you've got weather pictures, tweet them to me, email them to me. We'll feature them again on our netcast and on News Channel 3 as well. If you're stuck inside because of the weather, here's what's coming up on my Facebook page later on. New National Weather Service classes coming up for Skywarn, Skywarn Storm Spotters. I'll show you those meetings coming up here in just a little bit. Finding faults, not assigning blame, but finding the faults that might be underneath your part of the country, more from the United States Geological Survey, and the latest raw images that have come in from the Curiosity rover, and more information from Mars, all available from NASA.gov, some great information there as well. Tonight, if you live around South Haven, Horn Lake, Olive Branch, Northwest Mississippi, this is your opportunity to learn more about severe weather. That'll be coming up into tonight. We'll talk about that one in just a little bit. And in the next couple of days, this Thursday in Chester County, Tennessee, Henderson, Tennessee, at the Henderson City Hall in the Council Chambers, National Weather Service will be teaching a severe weather spotter training course called Skywarn. Again, you can learn more about severe weather and get ready for storm season number two. It's on the way from roughly about late October through about mid-December. We can get some pretty nasty storms around here, and that's something we're trying to help you get ready for along with the National Weather Service on their website. To Tonight, if you'd like to know more, around northwest Mississippi. Nesbitt is where you want to be at the Emergency Operations Center for DeSoto County. That's at 829 North Old Highway 51 North. Great opportunity to get yourself prepared for these areas of severe weather. These meetings last about an hour, hour and a half. They are totally free. Show up, take the course, learn more about severe weather, and be better prepared for severe weather before it hits. These are great classes to take. Highly recommend them. I've been taking these classes for or well, a very long period of time. Let's just leave it at that. But if you'd like to know more, you can find out more details on their website. Just go to weather.gov slash MEG. If you, that's too much for you, just go to weather.gov, click on the Mid-South, and then click on the headline with more Skywarn Storm Spotter information coming up there. Catch my forecast on Bob and Josh with Talk Back Live coming up on AM 730 up until 10 o'clock this morning. Can't catch them on the air in their regular broadcast signal. Dial them up online at talkbacklivenetwork.org. And, of course, we'll have more with News Channel 3's Jim Jaggers. He'll be coming up starting on 1st at 4 as Tim Simpson takes some time off later on today. And, of course, I'll be filling in for the vacationing Todd Demers. Coming up later this morning on my Facebook page, join me for Weather Where the Troops Are, a look at weather where friends and loved ones serving in the United States military in various outposts might be stationed to see what the weather's like there. That'll be coming up at about a quarter till 11 later on this morning. And of course, you can join me again for more information at wreg.com slash weather complete forecast here, including our 7 to 10 day forecast available as well. Another check of your forecast coming up a little bit later today. That'll be on News Channel 3 live at 9. And of course, we'll have more details on the forecast as well on News Channel 3 at noon and throughout the rest of the day on News Channel 3 online at WREG.com. Thanks for joining us this morning, live and direct from downtown Memphis. I'm meteorologist Austin Onick. Have a great day, and make certain you stay tuned to News Channel 3 for the latest news, weather, and sports.